This has seriously been like almost like a workout regimen or a new year's resolution. Just the challenge of making beats every single day. You know, maybe I do some type of musical activity every single day, but it wasn't like this. It wasn't like I would put together and finish a complete set of musical ideas every single day. What's going on everybody? My name is Teicho and today I have a collection of beats for you from the Beattober challenge. So if you don't know what Beattober is, it's a challenge that I've undertaken to make a beat every single day for the month of October. And we are in the first full week. Last week you got four beats because it was the first week, not a complete week. This week we have seven beats. And you gotta tell me which ones you wanna see blown up and created into full on tracks. But first things first, if you enjoy live electronic music performances, tutorials, and content to make you a more productive producer, click the subscribe button down below. If you like the music you hear on this channel, be sure to follow me over on Spotify. You can listen to Beat Sketches Volume 1 and Volume 2 right now and add some of the tracks to your playlists. But for now, let's get into the music. The first two beats I want to show you were created with the Akai and BK Mini. One with the regular Mark II, the other with the Blackout. Check it out. All right, what did you think of those two beats? One thing I'm finding that with this challenge is I'm trying to keep myself excited or interested in making beats that are different, not just the same beat or the same style every single day. So it could be more of like a poppy upbeat feel like the first beat you heard, or it could have just a totally different feel than I usually make like the second beat. All right, let's go with two more beats, this time using the new Launch Key Mini Mark III and the Launchpad Pro. Check it out. All right, what did you think of those two beats? Another thing that I'm finding is this 
habitual creation of music is helping me develop my own style or at least a sense for what my sound actually is. So one thing I kind of knew before starting this but I'm definitely feeling as I'm doing the challenge is I love using vocal samples and using the human voice in my tracks. So you hear a lot of vocal sampling, chopping it up, playing it on a keyboard, or like in that last one, the choir samples. All right, one more head to head. The next two beats were created with the Machina Micro Mark III, as well as the Complete Control A25 in my Ableton Push. Check it out. So while most of these beats are being created with Ableton Live, I'm also willing to go a little bit outside of my comfort zone for this challenge to keep things fresh. So obviously if I'm using the Machina, I'm gonna use the Machina software and that just has a totally different workflow. So the beat has a different sort of vibe. Let me know if you think that's true. And the seventh beat of the week follows suit with that. So I'm using my song maker kit, which is comprised of a loop block, my seaboard block and a light pad block from Roly using the noise app on my iPad to make this beat. Again, jumping out of the comfort zone, going away from Ableton, and creating something with an app for Beattober. Check out this final beat. One reason I think I tend to make chill low file style music when using the seaboard block is because playing a chord in the 5D expression, you can sort of use a vibrato motion to add a waviness to chords that you can't really do with traditional keyboards. So I think that that's pretty cool. Overall, I'm having a great time making beats every single day and putting them together in a completed video every single day for you all to see. Now, if you're interested in keeping up with this day to day, make sure you're following me on Twitter and Instagram because that's where these beats are going. But if you're enjoying watching here, I will be updating this every week this month. And you can let me know in the comments which of the beats are your favorites, which one do you want to see blown out into a full track, which would you maybe want to see on my Spotify. And if you're participating in Beattober, make sure you tag me in whatever platform you're posting on. And if your beat is dope, I'll be sure to share it on my story. 
It's not too late to jump in if you haven't jumped in. There's no shame in starting in the middle of the month. Just do as much as you can, even if you can't do it daily. But I promise if you challenge yourself to make more beats than you're already making, you're gonna see improvements in your workflow, how you understand your own personal sound, or you're gonna take steps to actually develop that personal artistic sound of your own. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more live electronic music performances, tutorials, and content to make you a more productive producer. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and I'll see you for next week's Beattober Beat Roundup. This has been Tatro. Have a good one.